here's Evan McPherson. And off we go from Huntington Bank Field. Here comes Ford on the return. And he'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Browns led out by their quarterback, Deshaun Watson, the starter early in Houston. Now his third season with the Browns, eighth season in the league as Watson tries to get this Browns team going in this one. There was a time, and it wasn't very long ago, Mike, that this guy was trending towards becoming one of the best quarterbacks in the entire NFL. He has to find a way to get back to stacking strong performances one after another and keep his team in the hunt. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out, but if he plays well, his team is always going to have a strong chance of winning. And his initial touch, good for a couple. It'll be second down. Watson to throw. Back to the former Bronco. It's Jerry Judy. Three plays in and a test. It's third and two. Now some movement up front. We'll hear from our referee for the first time here today. So from third and two, back him up to third and seven. Out of the gun, Watson. He's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. So on fourth down, the lefty Corey Bohorka to punt for Cleveland. Charlie Jones, the return man for the Bengals. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The Bengals offense comes out led by their quarterback, Joe Burrow. Can they keep him healthy? Because when he's good, he's so good. Won the Heisman during his days at LSU. Took this team to the Super Bowl. Now Greg, year five for Burrow with the Bengals. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man, I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as a result of him being your quarterback. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. They'll send the tight end in motion right. Burrow. That's complete to all the tight end. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. Don't need much. It is third and inches. Kosicki, the man in motion. They'll throw here on third and short yardage. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Third and inches, you see a lot of teams try to take a shot. Why, Mike? Because they know on fourth and inches, they still have a chance to convert the first down. The shot wasn't there, but they're still able to pick up a nice gain and convert and bring up first down. Burrow now to throw on first down. 
Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Unfortunately, Mike, over my career, I've been in this guy's shoes plenty of times, probably more than I wish to admit. You take your eyes off the ball. You think about becoming a runner before securing the catch, and when you do that, you end up watching the ball fall to the ground. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. It's a game there of 26 yards. And this is what you can do when you have one of the best receivers in the game. You understand that even if the coverage is not perfect for the play call, sometimes it's just as simple as my guy is better than your guy, and we're going to just keep giving them a chance. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Back to throw. Burrow. This one complete to Higgins. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open. He will score. Mike Gesicki. Touchdown, Bengals. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there. Ball's delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs. And... That's a big-time connection for the touchdown. Evan McPherson now to kick the extra point. The kick is good. And the Bengals will take a 7-0 lead. the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away here comes Ford on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line following the kickoff we have an injured player on the field as the athletic training staff looks at him we'll step away for a moment On first down, it's Watson. He's got his man, the tight end, David Njoku. They get 11 and quickly pick up the first down. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. A run straight ahead. That's Ford. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. They bring Judy in motion. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Heck of an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss. But not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss. But it still stopped for no gain. Throwing on third down. Watson. He's going to pick up the first down and more. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. He 
these third down conversions are just so important. Like everybody stresses, we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. From the 35, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, a give to four. Finding space at the 15. Out of bounds, but in business. They mark him down near the two. It is a big play for the Browns. 33 yards. There's a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up. And he will dive into the end zone. The road four. Touchdown, Cleveland. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. So back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The visitors offense about ready to get going on their second possession. We're trying to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. It's Burrow. He's going to air this one out for Jones. And they are not going to catch up to him. He will score. 73 yards. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Pearson now for the PAT. He gets it to go, and the Bengals will move out to a 14 to 7 lead. TD on is McPherson to kick this one away. Here comes Ford on the return. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Browns offense ready to get back to work. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Watson. Open man, and that's Tillman. And a mark him down just shy of the 40. 
Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. They bring Judy in motion. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And they're going to bring him down, but there is a penalty marker on the field. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. second down it's four trying to find some place to go but nothing developing tackled behind the line it's a loss of one how often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back but not this guy does a great job staying in phase stretching this ball out sideways and he brings him down for a loss Defense got lucky on that one. There's no one accounting for the running back out of the backfield as they should have. And fortunately for them, he bails him out by not securing the catch. Here's Corey Vajorquez now. And he's on to punt for the second time in this opening quarter. A fair catch signal. And they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Bengals' offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. They bring Chase in motion. On first down, Burrow. Pushed by Higgins, who makes the grab. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Putting the tight end in motion. He'll get that to all his tight end. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. I just love the feel this tight end has, Mike, for the defense when they play zone coverage. Certain guys, they want to run routes like their lines on a piece of paper, and they end up going from uncovered space to covered space. But not the case here. He knew he was open. He knew he was in the right spot. He stayed open. The quarterback delivered a good ball. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Jones motioning here. Burrow here on second down. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. Third down. Three to go. Try to run it here with Moss. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment.
The Bengals out and ready to punt. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Browns offense ready for this next possession. They'll begin with first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by four. He'll be brought down up past the 35-yard line. Remember, Mike, he's already had a touchdown earlier in the first quarter. And at the way this game has started off, it looks like this defense is going to have their hands full stopping this guy. So, from the 36, it is first and 10. Here's four. Finding room across midfield. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. He is having his way. Another big game. This time, 18 yards and a first down. So after one, it's the Bengals on top. And we're back to Cleveland in a minute. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Out of the gun, they'll give it, and it's four. Not much there, maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, here's Watson. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, if he gets there just a little bit quicker, he can get two hands on it and reel it in. And instead of just forcing the incomplete, he could have had himself a pick. Third down and nine. On play action, it's Watson. And it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Cam Taylor Britt. And the Bengals are going to get the football at their own 23. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. you got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. Heading out now, the Cincinnati offense. They're going to get set to take over once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. The throw here is complete. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Now a second down throw for Burrow. The five Brown out of the backfield. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. I like the play call there. Second, relatively short. Give your quarterback an opportunity to push this ball downfield, but realize this quickly. Nothing developing. Get the ball down to your back. Pick up a new set of downs. A first down throw for Burrow. Quick throw, taken in. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They 
face second down and seven. Working out of the gun, Burrow. Now he'll run it. 20 yard pick up there. And the Bengals going to have a first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. They'll come up here first and ten. The whistle looks like there was movement on the left side of that offensive line. Here's a handoff to Moss. Not much happening there, just a short game. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. Now, first. One's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from it. He's going to let it go deep for Chase. That is taken down if you want to score points at a high level in the NFL you have to generate explosive plays and after that big chunk pass play they find themselves now down there in the red zone and this is where you have to finish drives so the big play gets him down close and now it's first and goal He'll run with Moss. A good blocking, and he's in. Zach Moss. Touchdown, Cincinnati. is McPherson for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Bengals will take a 21-7 lead. To the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away. Here comes Ford on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line. The home team's offense and their running back set to go once more. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. Here's first and ten. Shotgun snap to Watson. That's over the middle to his tight end, Njoku. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Big 
take the handoff. Now Watson. He'll let this go deep for the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Potentially very big call here. Watson to throw. That's into the hands of Judy on the right side. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Here's Watson. He runs with it. That's a smart play. Second down, don't force it if it's not there. He's able to tuck it, pick up some extra yards, and set up a more manageable third down. What can they do here on third down and seven? Out of the gun, Watson. Taking off, he's trying to get there. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. That's caught by four. And nothing cooking on that one. He'll be met and tackled behind the line of scrimmage. We call them safeties because they're usually the last line of defense, but not here. On this play, he's up there at the line of scrimmage attacking the offense, and he takes him down for a negative play. On second down, here's Watson. He finds Judy on that one. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Najoku, the tight end, is the one in motion. It's Watson out of the pistol. And he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a sack and a loss of a couple. And that's a big-time play. It felt like they really needed it, Mike. That was a drive where the offense seemed to be in complete control. Anytime on the defense where you find yourself on your heels, you're giving up big plays, you're giving up fresh set of downs, you need a spark. You need something to change the momentum of the drive, and we'll see if that was it right there. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. He'll get this complete, and that's Jordan Aikens. He'll get about six before he's taken down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. Throwing on third down, Watson. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold them to just a short game. Fourth down, Dustin Hopkins now for the Browns field goal. This from 34 yards. 
Hopkins kick is good. And the Browns cut the deficit a bit. The new score is now 21 to 10. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. So Hopkins now following the main field goal. Back out to send it away. Jones now on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Out comes Joe Burrow and the Bengals offense to take over once more. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. First and ten, Burrow to the middle of the field, caught by Higgins. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. On first down, Burrow. Prime again. Another one to Higgins. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. These hitch routes, they're usually just designed to pick up a few safe yards. An easy completion, get some rhythm for your quarterback. However, this time, he's able to make a little magic happen after the catch and turn it into something much bigger than even they were probably anticipating. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. Burrow. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, taken in over the middle. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. A good spot here, second and a yard to throw is Burrow. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire, so the defense finally gets a stop, and really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down, and he will not quite get to the marker good job there defensively and now decision time what are you going to do on fourth down first down as he pushes forward for a couple on fourth and inches. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. After that last completion on the way back to the hole, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help. Because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game. Like, we just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming. But guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. Second down. Burrow. First by Higgins, who makes the grab. And he'll be very close to a first down. Won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot.
Here's third down and a few inches. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He's going to have a Bengals first down. That'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. Now they're entering the area of the field, especially with the amount of yards they've gained on this possession, Mike, where it feels like a touchdown is critical. For the defense, settling for a field goal here, especially with the ball where it is, feels like a win. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. So now they'll send out Evan McPherson for this field goal try. First and ten. To throw is Watson. Oh, and he's going to go down. He could not get rid of it. And that's going to bring an end to this first half. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half out of the quarterback, Joe Burrow. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. Jones now on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Bengals offense and Joe Burrow set to take over again. And as we take you through some of the highlights so far, you're going to see a lot of passing yards. He has carved up this defense over 300 yards passing in the game and has been sharp right from the start. receiver on that one and it'll bring up second down they bring chase in motion now second down throw for Burrow a throw left side but it's going to wind up in for just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept, 
I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. Miles Garrett is able to bring him down for a sack, and that's something the reigning Defensive Player of the Year was able to do 14 times just a season ago. I'm not sure there's a more dynamic or dominant defensive lineman in the entire league. Special teams out to the field, ready for this punt. As he'll hit this from just outside of his own goal line. And no return on this one. Fair catch signal for and taken. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Now, first down throw for Watson. He's got it in the hands of Elijah Moore. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Set to go now on first and ten. Watch it. That's over. Oh, he doesn't pull it away. And the ball is out. And the defense has it. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often. And sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch. But before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. And remember now, all turnovers have to be verified by a replay. So they might be taking a look at this one. At issue was the knee, or any other body part except the hand, down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. A run here right side, and it's full. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. shotgun here's Watson no one open he'll drop it to his running back and he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five defensive coordinators preach all the time play pass defense with vision it's exactly the case here they're able to rally to the ball keep that to a short game here's a third down and four shotgun snap to Watson that is incomplete, but there is a flag down. Big call here 
it was third down. The offense not coming off the field, and here's fourth down. They snap it to Watson. This one incomplete. The defense up to the challenge there. They force the completion, and they'll take the ball over on down. The Bengals' offense ready to get back at it. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and ten. Out of the gun, Burrow. Quick throw, taken in. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. during the break we've kind of both asked ourselves are they content with this double digit lead do they come out and play conservative here in the second half well it took exactly one play to get our answer so they come to the line for first down and 10 burrow oh a short throw there but it's gonna end up incomplete that's a pass he say he should have had instead he does not and it brings up second down set up third down. Throwing is Burrow. Who out for another catch for his favorite target. It's a gain of 10 yards. It's a Cincinnati first down. Here's a second and nine. They go once more with Moss. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. Play action for Burrow. We'll try to run for it. That is a gain of 20. And what a chance now. First and goal coming up. Those plays are killers for a defense. You think you have the quarterback hemmed in. You think you have a chance for your pass rush to get you off the field. Instead, he gets away, picks up some tough yards, and sets his team up first and goal. Now, Burrow. 
going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. They'll try to run this one in. And he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he may have come back a little bit. And now it is third and goal. In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for a loss. And this is going to be incomplete. That is a letdown there. Pass look to be on target. No catch. And now fourth down. Not only does he let the ball go through his hands, he lets six points slip away with that drop. I mean, everyone else does their job. The ball's on target. Listen, this is the big boy league now. The reality is, you just got to catch the ball. A dive, and he's in! Zach Moss. Touchdown, Bengals. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, I wasn't so certain about leaving the offense out there, but they did, and it paid off with a touchdown. And I love it, Mike. I think we're starting to see this more and more often in today's NFL. Take advantage of field position. Put the trust in your offense. It's exactly what their head coach does here and certainly pays off. McPherson, now for the PAT. His kick is good. And the Bengals will extend this third quarter lead. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. On the return, this is strong. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Browns offense and quarterback Deshaun Watson getting set for their next drive. And as we take you back through the highlights, there aren't many of them from a quarterbacking perspective. He's been unable to sustain a lot in any of these drives and does not have a touchdown pass to this point. On first down, it's Watson. And that one incomplete. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. They'll try again here. Second and ten. On play action, it's Watson. This one caught by Aiken. A game of 11 on that one. First down, Cleveland. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. All the qualities that make a good safety are seen on display on this play. Speed, pursuit, and then the intensity and the strength at the point of contact for the tackle to keep this ball carrier to no gain. That is a complete safety play. A play fake. Now Watson to throw. A little short pass here caught by his tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. We've now seen this quarterback show that he can beat you from both inside 
and now outside of the pocket. The ability to use his legs to flush out and buy time for his receivers. They uncover downfield, leads to a big pickup. A run straight ahead. That's Ford. And he will wiggle his way forward for a gain of a couple. Second down and eight. Out of the gun, Watson. That one into the hands of Moore downfield. That pass play good for 22. It's a Browns first down. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. Left side, he's got the Joku. About 19 yards on that one. They're in business. It's first and goal. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a second effort, and he is in. The road full. Touchdown, Browns. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. now to tack on the extra point. He's got it. And the Browns are able to cut into the deficit. Here's Hopkins now after the touchdown. He'll boot this one away. Brown now to return it. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The visitors offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. From 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. To throw is Burrow. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. The offense is trying to stretch the field vertically. They're trying to put as many receivers into the coverage deep as possible. But you know what you need? You need time. You need to allow those guys to get downfield, but when you have a pass rush like this, they don't let that time unfold, and that pocket collapsed and results in a sack. Burrow here on second down. That's complete to all the tight end. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. They bring Chase in motion. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And this time is over before it can start. He's slow enough to force fourth down. Perfectly timed blitz there by the linebacker. 
to remember, when you go empty backfield, there's no extra protection. All you have is the five offensive linemen. It could be feast or famine, but in this case, when you time it right, man, there is no back back there to help protect the quarterback, and he comes away with the sack. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the punt team. As the drive went in the wrong direction, he's on to punt it away. This fielded inside the 35. And it'll be a good return. He's able to get it up past the 40-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. We'll open this drive on the ground with four. And he'll be brought down on uh, what will be the final act here in this third quarter. Here's second and nine. Now it's Watson. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And this is taken in by the defense. Something these running back coaches preach all the time, Mike, is you can't sacrifice the ball for additional yardage. And I think we had a case of that going here. I love the effort. I love the fight but it can't come at the expense of the ball. Everything in football is about protecting the ball itself, and in this case, just a little bit too loose with it. They're able to pop it loose, and that's a big turnover. the 39. Here's a first and 10. Burrow to throw. To the outside, it's looked in by Chase. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part, so once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. They'll come up here on second down and five. He'll run it out of the gun with Moss. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. Burrows from out of the gun here on third down. And the defense come up with a stop there gain a seven and a first down they bring chase in motion a first down throw for burrow there's a throw right side Gonna be incomplete. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided even before seeing the coverage where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. Now second down throw for Bowen. And he'll be stopped short in first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. When you have a tight end that you can flex out and just throw them one-on-one -on -one jump balls, man, it is so difficult for defenses to defend. And sometimes it's just as simple as my man is bigger than yours, and I'm going to throw it up and 
He comes down. On the ground, it's Brown. He is down at the 14, but will have the first down. Jones motioning here. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's second and six. here looks like one of the defenders got a head start second down Burrow he's got his big tight end Cincinnati. The tight end using the middle of the field. I got a tight end next to me who's caught 60 NFL touchdowns. Knows how to operate down in those spaces. And that was my favorite place to operate, Mike. I always had this rule. The closer you got to the middle of the field, the worse they got at defending the pass. So that's where I wanted to work. And that's where this guy was working and leads himself to a touchdown. On is McPherson for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bengals will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. to the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away here comes Ford on the return and this will work out quite well he'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line the home team's offense ready to take over possession of the football things not looking good but see if they get the turnaround going here they'll start this drive with first down the shotgun. Here's Watson. It was a short throw caught by Najoku. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Shotgun snap to Watson. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Watson now on third down. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looks like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. It's just so hard to be a good offense in the NFL, Mike, when you are not good on third down. Your inability to extend drives, it either puts a lot of pressure on your coaches to be aggressive on fourth down or simply punt or take a field goal. You have to maintain possession and give you more cracks to score touchdowns. He's going to pick up the Browns first down by a good three yards as they get the conversion on fourth and five. Some teams just have a stronger appetite for being willing to go for fourth down tries. 
even on their side of the field, Mike, and we're seeing it so much more often, the days of just punting the ball back and forth and saying, hey, we're going to play good defense. Remember, the better your defense, that doesn't mean you should punt. The better your defense, the more chances you should take on offense. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case, the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. And that's going to wind up incomplete. Pressure certainly impacted the quarterback there. Couldn't get his arm all the way through. And it's going to bring up a third down. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump. And they've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. There was tight coverage all across the field. I think the quarterback thought he had the arm strength to fit this one into a pretty small window, but the defense wasn't having it. They were all over it, and... I think the quarterback actually got away with one there. The offense staying out there for this fourth down. That's caught. It's the tight end, Najuku. It's a pickup of 12 as they wind up converting on fourth down. Really nice job here by the tight end, understanding that if you're not open, get open. And if you are open, stay open. He found a nice void in the zone on the backside of the defense, friendly to the quarterback. Nice pickup. We'll go right back to Njoku. He's got it again. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. Again, it's Watson. Back over the middle to his tight end, Njoku. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. These can be tricky situations defensively, right? The game is all but over. Barring something unforeseen, you got this one in the bag, but... You still want to finish on a high note. You still want to walk off the field and put an exclamation point on what's pretty much been a dominant performance right from the start. And he's going to be taken down. Well, this is the advantage to having a really effective passing game, Mike, as the defense now tries to adjust to stopping you through the air. It's a lot easier to mix it up and run the ball. There's a lot less defenders in there trying to stop you. This drive has been methodical, but will they turn it into six points it is first and goal contact up front did they get one of the defenders to jump so now from half the distance closer here's first and goal Watson to throw. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. Jerry Judy, the intended target, and it'll lead to a second and goal. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, You've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Deshaun Watson. Touchdown, Cleveland. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Extra point up and good from Hopkins. And the Browns are able to edge a bit closer.
Here's Hopkins now after the touchdown. He'll boot this one away. Brown now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Jamar Chase headed back out there along with the rest of his Bengal teammates. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early. Boy, did that pay great dividends to this point. Here's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Burrow. He'll find Brown out of the backfield. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. What an advantage it brings a defense when you have cornerbacks that are such willing tacklers. It just brings an extra element to the ability to defend the entire field. And this is a great example here why. They face second down and seven. Burrow. To the left side. Caught by Chase. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. We don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. Here's second and three to go. be a little bit of your weakness in this case he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet extend the play give his targets more time downfield to uncover in this case nothing materializes tried to do too much and as a result takes a big loss this a must stop for this defense Facing third and long. He'll try and get there on the ground. That's a great job defensively. Even though they let him escape the rush initially, there was nowhere to go with either the ball or as a runner, and they're able to force fourth down. On fourth down, out comes the punter as they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. The Browns offense, and their running back, getting ready to go back to work. And he has put in a full game's work, and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Here's Watson. Two outs, another catch for his favorite target. Here is second and seven. Throwing is Watson. Now he'll run. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50 yard line. A pickup there of 28 yards. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. They'll drop to throw. Here's a screen set up for four.
Here's second down. Out of the gun, Watson. Through the middle, that's caught by Moore. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Two timeouts still left, but scoring quickly here, a must. It's first and ten. Watson. They'll look to set up the screen here. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Again is Watson. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it also gives some credit to the back end doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. A great pass rush is like a closer in baseball. When you bring them into the game, it's all but over. And it's exactly the case here. It doesn't result necessarily in a sack, but it was the hit that altered the throw just enough to end that play before it started. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. We'll get a timeout, Cleveland. That's their second. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first half. Now it's Watson. The offense did their job. Get this thing back within one possession. So they're still alive. But now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back. And it's not going to be easy. Now Hopkins on to add the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Browns will cut the deficit to seven. A one-score game late, and you figure... They gotta have this one as they'll try an onside kick. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens, but we can see here an onside kick, not much of a chance. The Bengals offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E.
Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee.